Hello, everybody. Nate Wolf here from Born to Be Wild. Today, I'm hanging out with Wildcard, and we're talking about his uh, odd, big demon hunter list. So, I it's a mouthful, I right? I yeah. <laughs> struggle to yeah, say it. But. So, last month you had hit legend, right, with your own homebrew big demon hunter list. Two months ago, but yeah, was it yeah, two, it was a. Two- uh, Two months ago, yeah, I, did, I didn't hit last month. I just, you know, too many priests and, and the big demon hunter uh, just didn't do well against the priests, and it went from being, you know, I'd see twenty percent or or maybe five or five or ten percent priests to twenty or thirty percent priests. So it certainly made a difference in, in my climb, and I just was too lazy to make that adjustment. So yeah, I hit. But still, I mean, it's impressive to to do uh, with essentially a new archetype, right? And then I saw you streaming earlier today that you had taken that list and then switched it up to make an odd version of this. So uh, I was very intrigued. I was like, oh, hey, can we talk about this? It looks really fun. So, and I, you know, I, my big, my big, I played my big demon hunter this month from like, you know, the bottom all the way up to diamond 10. So I sort of mishmashed those two into one amalgamation. Um, of course, I sacrificed some of the, uh, some of the, big package and and i also had to sacrifice some of the aggro package to make this frankenstein of a deck <laughs> and you know i went i've been doing okay you know i went 16 and 3 or 16 and 4 um today on 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 stream and, and i think i did pretty good the day before i mean got me up to to rank three i think today 16 and 3 is really good so uh okay so how do i play this i mean i'm looking through i'm looking through the deck and i guess if we could just talk through it real quick before we play Sure, sure. Uh, so um, on, on the low end, I've got the Blazing Battle Mage. It's a one mana 2-2, two, two, which is good. Uh, Consume Magic seems good, especially with all the Druids on ladder at the moment. And yes. the, and the cube yeah. blocks and stuff. Right. Uh, Lowly Squire, of course, is good, especially with the odd Demon Hunter power. Demon Companion is great. Um, Ace Hunter Crean, <laughs> no questions there. Yeah. No, um, he can turn a game, for sure. Okay, coordinated strikes, summon three one ones with rush. Uh, I could see that working very good against any sort of aggro, just to keep. I, I think deep down at heart, you're more of a control player, right? Absolutely. So I'm sitting here in chat earlier, to like it's time to go face. You're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad about that. I, uh, <laughs> but uh, no, no, but it makes sense, right? Especially when you've yeah. got the aggro decks tr- really trying to swarm to try to keep them uh, down. The Death yeah. Lords, I Beam, Hench Clan is, of course, a staple and odd. This Mage Hunter, we were talking about this early on when we did the uh, the set review show a while back. Um, I think this was from the last the last set that came out. Was this Skolomance or was this Ashes of Out? I think this I Skolomance. I think this is Skolomance, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. This does so good against all the Druids um, mm-hmm. or Cubes, for that matter. Seems pretty cool. Satter Overseer is another that's a staple in Aw Demon Hunter. The Chaos Nova is very good AoE. Uh, the Glaivebound Adept is another staple in Odd. Cobalt Sticky Finger, of course, great against the uh, Kingsbane. Leroy Jenkins. Yeah. <laughs> really any weapon, right? But yeah. uh, Leroy, of course. Priestess of Fury, still good after the nerf. Uh, Ancient Void Hound is a spicy inclusion that I really like. Uh, I've been waiting for someone to make this work, and so I'm happy that it's in here. Mm-hmm. Um, Baku, because we have to, and then two pit commanders. And okay. so what you're looking to pull from pit commander, I, I suppose, is uh, your Void Hound or your Priestess of Fury, one of the ones on the top end. So I assume that's why you were saying we don't put um, Battle Fiend in the deck, right? Because we don't want our pit commander to pull a, right. a one mana one, two. Uh, the Seder Overseer is also a demon, so that's your worst case scenario. So, so, is there any way you just have to hard cast Pit Commander on nine? Yeah, usually. Yeah. Usually. Okay. I was yeah, looking for a, a way to um, get it out early, but Raging Fell Screamers uh, even cost, so that doesn't work. Then you put the Pit Pit Commander out, and usually you just you just see the explosion on the other side of the board, you know, because they're like, I can't answer it <laughs> because the meta right now is is you know Reno Priest. And and aggro uh, 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 druids right now, but like a ton of them. Right, um, right. So if, as long as you could eat up those two decks, you're probably in a good position. How do you deal with the priests? A couple death lords. 
Um, so hopefully those pull out what you need to. And again, you just just keep punching face. You know, you just you just have to shift your you have to shift your weight either you know from a little more to the little more aggro. Um, but it can go both ways. You can play it control. You can play it aggro. Uh, but just certainly against a priest, you want to play as aggro as possible. All right. Well, let's take it for a spin. The ladder, the ladder giveth and the ladder taketh away, right? Uh, that's the truth. Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> all right, it's a druid, so it's a druid. So we're tossing Leroy. Um, I keep the beaming sidekick just because it's a body that can counter stuff. Um, I beam's fine, and coordinated strike is obviously great. Um, and consume magic is fine too. And and what you're gonna do is like your face is just gonna constantly be chipping these things no. down. I mean, I assume it's aggro. I don't know. That's all I've seen lately. Right. Yeah, I know. Uh oh, the dim biggin. Lovely. No. Nope. Yep. Hey, I I beat a guy with that had double and biggin today. It, it, you can do it. <laughs> you just gotta hope for the not nut draw. I think that's the only time I lose to these decks is when they just absolutely just all like five cards just go on the board on turn one. You're like, I guess I concede kind of thing. Um. So the yeah, battle mage is fine. If you want to coin out. The other one, that's fine too. Yep. I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't see a disadvantage to that at all. I want to contest the board here because yeah. they're gonna. Absolutely. I mean, if if they let their board get too big, then they buff it all, then they savage roar everything, and that's just mm -hmm. bad for us. Yeah, it's an interesting build. I, I think I've seen this before, but hmm. yeah. The so death, just start trading them out as much as you can, yeah. The Death Lord is is uh, really good for us in this matchup. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's why it's there. Death does not scare us. <laughs> I might even punch that into the Murgleton just to take it down a notch so you can punch it. So you can take care of Murgleton next turn. True. I know wow. you have a tendency to play pretty quickly. Um, consume magic. The, I, the right consume magic is probably your your play here. I really like that actually. Yeah. No one holds me back. All right. And then you punch punch it and trade. Put the tooth. Yeah. Put the one. I don't know if you want to. Yeah. I was say yeah. Probably the battle mage into it just so you can keep your dudes alive. Yeah. And then I'll... chip down Murgleton again. His minions are going to be quite big, but I think between the silences, uh, that helps quite a bit. Yeah. Helps a lot. Yeah, somebody... Yeah, I remember, yeah it was a couple... Um, one, of the, one of the games I played today, somebody had like, you know, the 5-5 five, five patches on turn two, and I was just like, silence, you know, I think I ran the Mage Hunter into it. It was just, you know, perfect. So I'm tempted um, to, um, there's the two options that I see. I, I'm tempted to play the coordinated strike and the consume magic um, on this South Sea captain. My thought is Death Lord and punch it. Punch what? Oh, wait, no, because you'd have to silence it first. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't kill it. I could kill it with the mage hunter. I could run it into that. And this, actually, I could, I could, I can clear the board if I play Mage Hunter into the five five, mm -hmm. and hero power the Finley, and then go face with the yeah. two one. Yeah. I think I like that. What's wrong? Lost your wand. Oh, I was off, but, but, but as you know, as long as we keep the board clear, yeah, yeah, uh, it's clear. It's fine. I, I think we're okay. I mean. The only bummer is that these minions are are quite beefy because of the embiggen. Mm -hmm. So you could probably I beam and punch, punch. Um, oh, he just left it out there. Okay, rock on. Um, hey, maybe just coordinate to strike it. Use the left one though, so you can get your consume magic on the left side. And then just punch face, I guess. I could consume. I could consume magic and leave two of these guys up as well. Save, save it, save it, because you've got your removal there. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I'd save it. You've got another coordinated strike in your hand. That's true. 
yeah, just save it because that's going to come in really valuable later. I really want to get that Death Lord down. Mm hmm. We'll get there. We'll get there. Patience, my son. Patience. We'll get there. <laughs> yeah, going ooze. Okay, that's awkward. Oh, oh no, it doesn't double the. Oh no, it does. Okay, it does mm -hmm. double the three four. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you don't want them. You don't want those to get buffed with the four health. Yeah, I'm tempted to. The, the, I think the silence might have to go. I'd like to see really this one. Yeah. Battle mage. Okay, getting good draws here. Did we pop? Yeah, maybe death lord and pop one of those guys. I play the kill, battle mage. I could. I was thinking about i beaming the three beam. four and and punching it with phase. As long as, as long as. Whatever kills the things, you're doing it right, you know? So, I don't think there's a wrong line to that at all. Although, um, Order might have... Yeah, oh, I guess I beam's fine. I, I like getting the Death Lord down, just because it's a big taunt, and then I can play yeah. the Satyr Overseer, and he's mm -hmm. hiding, hiding behind, behind the taunt, yeah. Yeah. Second and big, and okay, things are getting a little more challenging, sure, sure. It's fine though because I think I, then I start building a board here that they just can't deal with, like a second death lord. <laughs> yeah. So they're they're holding two they're holding two spells, right? I mean that's our assumption. Probably. Yeah. So I think this game's over at this point. I think we won. I don't know how they get past this. No, they don't. Like I've always said, that I don't understand why this deck is played so much. Um, well, it's very fast. I think I would give yeah. it that. It's it's. Uh, I don't even have to think about this anymore. Yeah. Just... No, it's just this game's over. Yeah. It's um. No, I, I see. I mean, the high rolls are amazing. The but is, I don't want to base my climb on high rolls. No, I mean I don't. I don't particularly enjoy it, but I will say that it's pretty good. The games are so fast. It's a five-minute game, win or lose. Yeah. Like you know by turn five if if you're gonna blow the opponent out or not. Where I mean I would assume this guy's just gonna concede because it's game over at this point. You would think. Oh, uh, he was holding <laughs> patches, holding patches the entire time. That's funny. Wow. The voracious reader. Okay, that's something I was thinking about when we had our silence. But I think we're still in a good spot. I, I mean, even... that's just... Oh. Pick Commander. Oh, yeah. Clear out the Voracious Reader, and then... I, I, I still would like the stuff to go... Yeah, clear out everything if you can, and then just drop the Pit Commander. Do I even need to clear out everything? I mean, I... Or, you don't have, well, you're, you're too off lethal, but I think... I think if you clear it out, you assure yourself a victory on the next turn. Again, this is the control player talking, so... <laughs> If you want to audible and do something else, I, I understand. I won't hold it against you. <laughs> what demons are in my deck? I'm gonna. Uh... Uh, you've got another pit commander, which is a taunt. Uh, you've got another satyr overseer. Okay, good. And an ancient void hump. So yeah, which is great against odd paladin, by the way. Amazing. Because it just locks them out if you can get that down. Pirates away! Six sixes are pretty strong, but you've got 21 damage on board that just goes straight to the face. I mean, it just doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Those things should have go gone into the 7 9. Oh well. <laughs> so you win. And Nate shows the opponent his hand. Right. <laughs> Except for the Baku. <laughs> the real secret weapon. I assume a lot of people are off to bed in the NA right now. 547 now. No. Alright, here we go. Yeah, yeah. So you're getting a hard mulliganing for the... Um, I kept the demon I, companion just because because it feels like a solid one drop, but but yeah, I could have, I probably should have uh, hard mold for the hard mold, yeah. 
I I usually harm all. I got it's just I got Leoc. It's, yeah, it's it's just the um it's an auto win, you know, in that in that situation. A wow. win the back step. Yeah. Okay. Why right. is he running that though? I don't know. Okay, so I'm just gonna yep. I'm gonna punch the two one and battle mage. Yep. Yeah. The the Illidari seems pretty good for next turn. Mm -hmm. it, just as far as board control goes, and then I can yep. thug on four. Oh, he coined accidentally. What was he trying to coin for? That's the question. I don't know. Does he have a hench clan? I think he has a hench clan, right? I don't. This it looks like a king's bane list, but why it's running backstab, I don't know. Yeah, I'm what tempted. They I'm tempted to play coordinated strike just to have something on board. I would play the hench clan. Um, I mean, what is it? They just have a one damage weapon, right? Yeah. So I think either the Seder or the hench clan are fine just to drop as is. Maybe the Seder because it's just. It's easier to remove, but it's also less important, I think. Um, the thug is better, yeah. The thug is a better creature, right, but but you want to save it. Let's see what they do to get rid of this. But I like the coordinator strike as removal, you know, and they get a bunch of pirates or whatever. All right. Okay. That was too much for them. I don't know. At least we're back on the winning streak. <laughs> So. All right. I mean, it's you really are only. I mean, you know, being good at Hearthstone is like it's like three parts. It's your skill, it's it's the deck that you're playing, and it's how well you draw your cards. You know, it's there's all those things line up, you're unbeatable. You know. <laughs> hey, you're playing against Mike. <laughs> He's at rank two. Give him the win. You gotta give him the win, Nate. There you go. <laughs> he was playing. Actually, he was playing priest. That's even better. Oh my God. He's playing priest. Oh man. I, I I need to I need to, to to preach the word of the off meta man. All you guys with your priest decks. But I, you know, like I said, I encourage I encourage it at this point because if everybody's playing priest, Blizzard can't ignore it in Wild. They can't ignore Wild if if literally like thirty or forty percent of the decks you're seeing are priest. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It the deck just has so much synergy. No. <laughs> So this is I like this um, against a warrior. Uh oh, it's on warrior. Okay, a little a little more challenging, a little more challenging for sure. Um, because again, this is one of those decks that just is kind of like priest. You just got a bunch of removal and it takes care of business. You'd much rather see like a dead man's hand or a pirate warrior, but we'll see. Yeah, just stay aggressive. Don't over you know. Don't over play your board. Yeah, I like the sidekick punch. Unless, okay, no, sidekick punch is still a play. If I can keep the armor low, then they can't, you know, uh, shield yeah. slam me or, or, you know, armor flurry or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Is it blade, blade yeah. flurry? No, not blade, blade flurry's rogue. Um, it's, um, uh, you know what I'm talking about, though, when they spend all the armor oh. to do the damage? Yep. I do know. I mean, I did take Odd Warrior to Legend one month, so yeah. <laughs> I just can't remember the name of it. <laughs> I, I wonder. I lost a game a couple of days ago that I should have won. I had thirty armor and I misclicked and I played the one to spend all the armor instead of the one right next to it to do whatever it was that I was gonna do. Oh. I was so embarrassed and I shame conceded. It was. Mm -hmm. Um. Do I do kill this up? thing? Do I, 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 I mean, I would keep going face and play Death Lord. Maybe I'm tempted to, to like, maybe you do trade punch, but no, I like it too because yeah, I'd have to. Oh, I have to coin Death Lord. That's fine. It's going to be 
I want that armor to not be there because yeah. Because I think it like good. Well, no, I mean you're right though. Having the armor enables so many things. Mm -hmm. Um, like not dying. <laughs> well, there's that. <laughs> yeah, but no, I mean, like I think about like the times that I lost when I played Odd Warrior was. You know, like, just that was how I lost. It was like they just kept going at me and going at me, and I could never catch up, and they had the board, and, you know, it was just that kind of thing. So I'm tempted to play Crean here. Mm. I, I mean, I don't know if if I – so my first thought was Overseer. But, yeah, not Overseer for sure. No, but, I think you keep that back because Brawl is turn five, literally next turn. Right, right. If I Crean, I can clear this 2-5 and not lose any health on any of these minions. And that forces him to brawl. It does. I mean, no, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Either Mage Hunter or or Crane are probably fine lines of play. Oh, if I Mage Hunter, this thing goes back to a two three. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. You're probably not going to have too much to silence against Odd Warrior either. Keep that in mind. I like Unless that. Unless you play Doctor Boom, and I'm hopefully we're not thinking that far ahead that we have to worry about Doctor Boom. Just punch it, probably. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I like I like using the Mage Hunter. That seems pretty good, actually, because, like you said, I don't think there's very much um, to that would need to be silenced. Yeah, yeah, it's actually it's it's a solid card. It really surprised me. Like in the in the review show in my head that I went through with looking at cards, I was like, I just thought I thought it was a bad card. I'm like, no, it's just it's it's actually solid. All right, so didn't have brawl. That's fine. I kind of like punching it and, and I beaming it. Yeah, and you're probably safe to Seder, I think, as well. Oh, if yeah. he didn't have, if he didn't brawl that turn. If he does, he does. You know, it's not, not the end of the world. You I just kind of kind of be careful about having like a big minion out with nothing else, like a priestess on its own. Mm -hmm. Because I almost say, like, next turn, I wouldn't do anything. if Even if you have something to play, I would just no, leave the yeah, board out. I agree. And just, there's Blade Storm. Okay. Okay. So that that that's really good that he got rid of one of his Blade Storms, because that's... Oh, hey, another Seder. All right. Let's start it up again. Must just not have the brawl, right? No. Yeah, I, no, he definitely doesn't have a brawl in his hand. It happens. I'm not patient enough to play Odd Warrior. <laughs> you just I remember uh, helping you with that, and you you did you definitely struggled with it. Um, I think you just had some bad draws too. Just some. I mean, I played I've I played a bunch of it last uh, maybe it was the month before, and it, so I did okay with it, but. And this reckless flurry, okay. Hmm. Do I priestess? Priestess feels yeah, pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, it's it's fine. Um, especially with the two one out there, it's just like it's not going to die to blade storm or anything. No, and and uh, he's got no armor to pull from, even if he hear power shield yeah, slam. And the shield enough. slam, yeah. I mean, they can always find armor. That's the thing. So, you know, it's possible. Well, I mean, when we lose is when they've got 30 armor, right? If you, <laughs> But if we're able to keep them, like, to put on pressure every turn, it seems okay. <clears throat> yeah, and you're almost in Leroy range. If you can't remove it, you probably win next turn. Will work? Okay. That punches uh, once. That's fine, because the... Uh... The priest... And again, this is why Bulwark's a bad card. Oh, pull ball. No, oh, that's Ooh. not great. Of all the cards to pull out. Oh no 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 no! It's fine because Crean uh, will will save my trade in. save your keister. Yeah, yeah, just trade into it. Let's see, yeah, see what demon you pull out. Provided she doesn't completely whiff on. Oh, you're gonna tra you're gonna punch yeah. Yeah, no, no, I like that because then she she can kill Baku without uh, taking any damage. That's pretty good. No. I mean, so I have lethal if he 
doesn't clear. Do you have the brawl now? That's the question. And even if he has a brawl, you can play pit commander next turn. Blood another pit commander. Blade storm. Okay. That combo one that kills a. Oh. Oh. Eh. It's okay. I think the um, pit commander is very good. It's gonna pull another pit commander or the void hound. What if you lowly squired and punched that away and then went face with Crean and the next turn played Commit Commander behind and have Crean behind it? It's fine. I don't care. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I'm not opposed to it. It's fine. That way you can't find ways to buff it. And... It's, yeah, it's not a sexy board as, as a Pit Commander. Well, I would hate for him to play Doctor Boom and then be, you know, and then magnetize it or something. I mean, okay, Super Collider. So the Super Collider, there you go. That's fine. Okay, well, at least we know it's there. It's okay. I mean, if he plays, let's see. Uh, I mean, it's hard because yeah. he, he'll have put to the big commander on the left of it, right? Oh yeah. So that when it pulls something out, it's in between. The, you got the you got the dude in the middle. That was smart. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, he he, it, he smashes it, them together and clears it somehow. Yeah. 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 That was that's smart. And frankly, he probably mm -hmm. just doesn't want to be punching a no seven nine right now with that. Little amount of health. Oh, oh is the uh, Silas? Okay. It's not. It's not for the OTK. It's so that he can uh, right. take he my pick commander. But it wouldn't. You wouldn't. I would say you wouldn't shield <laughs> priestess. Um, how do we clear the seven nine? How do we clear? It? I I would. I just say run the other seven nine into it. Um. Run the nut seven nine, punch it with your face. Um, yeah, and then priestess. And then priestess and the three one, yeah. My blades will sing. And everything else goes face? Or do you wanna I think you wanna clear, wanna... clear I wanna... silence with the four one? Yeah. He's got a brawl here. He has to. Has to mm -hmm. brawl. Otherwise, we just win. He's trying to find it. Searching yep. for the brawl. Yeah. Got a Baku. I like that. Gives us another big one in case we lose all our big minions somehow. Like the 1 4 wins or the, the Cold Light wins. But again, with a small, hero, uh, small cost hero power, you can play a Baku and still use your hero power. Right, yeah, gonna, yeah. Oh, is it gonna like a whirlwind again? Uh, what the hell is it called? Oh, he's gonna concede. Nice. I was gonna say, no, I mean, if he, the, he needed yeah. the brawl like the whole game. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Cool. Well, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Uh, oh, thank you was, for, for was fun. For I got to I got to rage against Reno Priest a little bit. Um, <laughs> I I do think that's that's where I feel like this this deck struggles. Uh, mm -hmm. But the deck the Reno Priest deck is just so good that um, you know it, it's difficult to beat. The only change right. I could see myself making, really, uh, without you know knowing more about it, would be possibly to remove the sticky finger and put in a a Lotheb. Well, you know, if you're playing in High Legend. And you're running up at full on Reno Priest, you know, this might not be the deck for you, too. Uh, you know, well, that's, that's yeah, the thing to consider yeah. as well. That just might, it, this might, this is for probably more of climbing to Legend, um, with, you know, which is what I'm doing with it right now. Hopefully I get there this later this week. So we'll see. See if I can get Legend before I get to my 500. Uh, my, I probably would. Yeah, I probably would get to 500 or Legend before I get to my 500 Demon Hunter wins. Yeah, I'm at like rank three now, I think. So nice. I'm, just, I'm almost there. So, 
Well, well yeah, thanks cool. again for featuring this. I, I appreciate it. And, oh uh, yeah, no, it's it's been uh, a lot of fun. I, I appreciate hanging out, and I appreciate you sharing your deck. It's a lot of fun. So, thank you. Uh, do you want to share your uh, where people can find you if uh, they want to follow your content and all that? Yeah, absolutely. Or if you, you know, like I, I assume you're going to share share the deck list, but um, if you needed to, or you want anybody wanted help with it, I'm I'm always happy to help people. Um, but yeah, you can reach me at Wildcard Hearth. Um, W-I-L-D-C-A-R-D-H-E-R-T-H on Twitter. And uh, I stream uh, Wednesdays and Wednesday evenings at 8 p.m. Central Time and Sunday mornings either 10 or 11 uh, Central, 10 or 11 a.m. Central Time at Wildcard Hearthstone um, on Twitch. So yeah, uh, check me out um, and contact me there. Uh, if you if you need anything, I'm, I'm wide open. So thank you again, Nate. I appreciate it. Awesome. You yeah. No. No. Thank you. I really appreciate your time.